I haven't had broccoli casserole forever. So I want to make some. I'm going to use chopped broccoli. This is not 32 ounces. This is 28 ounces. But if you have a package of 32 ounces, that's fine. This is my mom's old, old recipe that I grew up with. Two sticks of butter. Cheese Whiz. Cottage cheese. French fried onions. Four eggs. And flour. Six tablespoons of flour. And let's get started. I have a large bowl here and I have two cups or 16 ounces of the cottage cheese in there. I'm going to add little bits of the cheese whiz in there. Just in, in like if you could cube cheese, you know, something like that. Put bits of it in here. I have all the cheese whiz in there. And that pretty much mixes up with the cottage cheese. I'm going to add the one cup of the french fried onions. And you want to mix your eggs up and beat them a little bit. The four eggs. And mix this all up very well. Next, take your melted butter. Add your flour to it and mix this up. Next we're going to add the butter and flour mixture. Get it all in there. Add the cooked tender broccoli. I boiled it for a couple three minutes and then let it sit in the hot liquid and cool down a bit and then then strained it. You know, cook it till it's tender. You want it to be tender and mix all this up. I put it in my 13 by 9 baking dish. I did grease it a bit just slightly and this goes in my 350 degree oven it's been in the oven for 45 minutes go ahead and put the rest of the 6 ounce package of french fried onions on top and spread them out we'll put this back in the oven for all oh, about 10 minutes just to kind of heat the onions back up maybe 15 here it is out of the oven it baked for 45 minutes and then I put the topping the um, french fried onions on top baked for another 10 minutes 55 minutes total just need to let it cool off and we can eat some of this tried and true broccoli casserole it's so good